Hi guys, this is Errol. I'm a little bored, so I was thinking. I wanted to talk about infinity and infinite and what it means, time and space. It's weird that, it's not weird, it's interesting that, um, for instance, let's go, let's talk about plan, or let's talk about um, statistics. Let's just, let's just do start the planets for right now because that we know is pretty much infinite. And they say, for instance, if we are looking for something like Earth, we could find it. But the chances, even if the chances were one in a billion, one in a billion out of infinity is still an infinite amount. That's just numbers. <laughs> even if it's one in a billion, that still means that. There's an infinite amount out of infinity. So. And I said this before, but isn't it great how things are infinitely big and small at the same time? I know a lot of people um, have trouble wrapping their minds around it. Um, so they don't. But it's weird how things can be big and small at the same time. For instance, um, from a atomic or molecular level all the way up until, um, like our st our star, it's it's according to um, the space studiers of Earth, <laughs> our our stars, our star <laughs> isn't even. It's not big at all. Um, and it's still way huger than us. And then there's still things way tinier than us. Like we can't even begin to see them. <laughs> They're so small. And then there's other things in there. We can't begin to see them because they're so big. <laughs> and that's infinite time and space. Or did I just do space? They're both connected. Apparently, according to most theory um, that I've um, seen and paid attention to. I don't. Um, I don't. I haven't paid for a degree. <laughs> so. Um. Oh well, yeah, so just just to stretch it out a little bit more, I didn't do time, um, but but the same thing, even in chance of how we created civilization, or whoever created civiliz civilization, if it was created for us or we created it, um, even four point five billion years of the infinite. And time, if time goes on forever, then what are the odds of what we did happening? What are the odds of time that it happened? According to our numbers, to our current belief, it's one in 4.5 billion years. That it starts, I guess, because it has to start with a year and it's 4.5 billion. So I figure huh, one of the odds of this happening is one in 4.5 billion years on Earth. And that's a pretty big number. Considering an analogy about infinity before, because a lot of people can't even really wrap their um, minds around a million or a billion and up to a decillion stuff like that so i'm just thinking out loud i don't know anything i don't know nothing <laughs> i just be um think about stuff and i like to share it a lot of people don't really care to hear it but that's why they don't have to fucking watch. <laughs> so this is Errol from ErrolTheAdventurer.com. Peace. Whoop. Stay up.